Uh, you guys can stay close oh, for bowlers. Let's see. Like, or I don't even see those seats. Oh, sorry. Your table's getting a little bit Walking messy. Walking on their table, but oh, come on. You gotta put, you gotta put, uh, you know. What's it called? Dominance, dominance. Uh. Alright, gentlemen. Uh, if you've never met uh, the people to my right, they are all like uh, high command members of Rust. And ass. probably people you could talk to when I'm not around. I won't be around this weekend, so if there's anything that happens, they can take care of it. Mm. I'm here, Petar, and I asked Dean to relay a message to you and the other people that uh, just want to quickly have a meeting about what happened when I was gone. Yeah. Now, I heard some stuff happen. Mm -hmm. I heard, uh, obviously, there was some confrontation that occurred, and uh, I'm aware of most of the details, maybe not all of them, but most of the details surrounding that. And I'm aware of the... Uh, Incident that occurred, not incident, but the uh, confrontation that also occurred at the scrapyard. Mm -hmm. You wanna? Can I get a little bit of your perspective on uh, maybe why that was necessary? Mm, well, you're talking about us just pulling up to the scrapyard and having a little chat and telling you guys, or which which confrontation are you talking about? Yeah, the uh, well, um, the, the twelve member deep thing. Oh, I think it was more than 12, I can't lie. I think it was just whoever was around, we just brought them. Um, but, you know, we've been we've been seeing the boys snooping around the block, this and that. You know, it, it, it was quite obvious that, you know, you guys, you guys kept coming to the block or this or that. Or even, even the boys coming to the block, checking for a GSF and shit, you know, it was always just some, like, excuse to be at our block. And we kind of, we kind of played dumb with it. And I can't lie, you know, it kind of worked to our advantage because... When um, Kem saw um, us at the, at the power plant with BBMC, um, one of your boys, I don't remember who it was, whether it was Kem or someone, someone was uh, sitting in a, in a black and through their local car. And, you know, it was quite obvious what you guys were there for and what your intentions were for, like, the past month. Maybe, maybe more than that. And we just we just came down to your guys' sack to tell you how it is. You know, we, we we're not dumb. So your first move upon hearing that some boys were hanging around the Mandem block was to come to the scrapyard with over twelve people and no. intimidate my boys. It wasn't intimidating, it was just saying it's you know, it's our it's a joint effort, it's our our lab. And it wasn't your boys coming to the block. It was months of your boys coming to the block, snooping around, doing shit. And they they thought, you know, this was the chance to, you know, do something about it. They pressed BBMC over a bullshit story and, you know, saw us there and saw us that we weren't going to the lab. And, you know, they made it obvious that, you know, what 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 they were there for was was us, you know? And it okay. wasn't about pressing them or anything. It's just laying it out there on the table. Yeah, but Pator, you can do that with maybe one, two of your maybe high command. You can bring the ballers, like the, the people who lead it. You brought so many people. And, and there's a reason you do that. You, you do that to show force usually. And I'm not specifically speaking about you, but any group. Say I bring 12 people or mm -hmm. I bring my entire gang to a group's compound. I do that to show force, to intimidate, mm -hmm. to impact fear, right? So you can't sit here and tell me you didn't try to do that. I mean, listen. Listen. I understand. Mm. I do get it. Right? It's a good to show number and, uh, you know, force and numbers. Mm. But I don't I don't really get the, the reason for it. Be honest with me, gentlemen. Has anything been done? Has Rust done anything to you guys Has, to, to cause any harm that I should be aware of? It was more of a nipping in a bud kind of thing, you know? We knew we knew what is going on and what like the end goal is. So we wanted to come early before it even got to that point, just to let you know our boundaries. Come early to let you know our boundaries. Um, all right. So you're trying to establish some sort of boundary between us. Yeah, like if you're coming for the lab, you know? It's more of like, hey, we know what you guys are doing. We're setting those boundaries. Isn't this something we've talked about in the past? It is. 
and uh, you know it seems like your boy has brought it back up. Okay, but you also mentioned in the past that if we ever were to go for it, you know, retaliation would be conflict, and that you know after our war ended, mm -hmm. that is uh, that's what was stated. So now I'm puzzled because I come back to hear that there was twelve or thirteen people sitting at my door. Yeah. I get there was potentially some lead up to it, but nothing that might have led to whatever happened there. Not in mm -hmm. my opinion, at least. Not not that justified or warranted it. You get what I mean? It was as as Sparky said. It was just you know, little nip. It wasn't it was, like if we wanted a war or this or that, it would have been war. It's just saying you know we know what you guys are doing, and you know we're not dumb, you know. It was definitely a reminder, you know, like you said, it was touched on at the end of that, that war. That if you come for the lab, there'll be conflict. I think it was a, a move from us to make sure that you knew that was still a thing. We hadn't backtracked on that. So now you're telling me, Sparky, that it was a reminder. Yeah. So that is essentially... Yeah, a reminder, nipping it in the bud, because we didn't know, you know, your, your snooping continued after the first conversation. So it's like a, you know, just a, a second address into it. Being like, no, Sparky, okay... Remember Answer this. me this, because Bitar just told me you were not there to intimidate. I mean, how, yeah. is, that the, 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 how is that the reminder in terms of non-intimidation? And listen, even if you were trying to intimidate, I would rather you guys be honest and straightforward with me, because at the end of the day, and, and to be honest, Sparky or, or Bitar or any of the ballers here, I don't really take intimidation lightly. I don't really see a reason for it. We don't, we're not on bad terms right now. I would say we're on neutral terms. Hmm. Maybe not good terms, right? I don't think any of us are on great terms. But I don't see you guys as enemies. Yeah, no, it was just the opportunity, like, you know, bringing that people, everyone who was on that block can come across as intimidating, yeah? I would agree with that. But that was giving an eye-to-eye -eye look to everyone who's involved in the situation. Because everyone there is involved with what you guys were doing. And there would have been more if they, they were awake, you know? That was yeah. just everyone who you would be affecting doing what you're doing. So we brought them all there. I mean, I guess I, I understand your perspective on it, but I, I would like if you understand ours as well, right? Mm -hmm. See, no, one I thing I want to add is, especially with the men, we don't, like, as much as, as much as, like, every gang has their high command or they have this or that, we, we, we properly treat everyone as equals. Like, even MDMA, they might not have a chain, but that's literally the only thing they're missing, you know? So it wasn't, it's not a case of, oh, you only bring high command or this or that, you know? It was literally all our boys are more than welcome to hear what, you know, we have to say, you know? I get it, but it's similar to Rust. I mean, I treat every single main member of my gang with just about every information you can gain, right? Mm -hmm. The high command just lead the gang. Mm -hmm. So you're telling me that everyone that you brought to that meeting was someone that you would trust with every single ounce of information in your gang? Yeah, and they know yeah. every single ounce of information within our gang so why when i had the meeting with dean earlier he said that he was at that meeting he was at that, that thing but yet he can't speak about it because he's not in the position of power to do so mm, well he's uh he's trying to gain his way back tommy's trash he's he made his mistakes everyone views him like family still but he he he's he's you know that's dean he's just a hang around in that sense, but he was he was MDMA and he's building that way up to to everything, you know. So it's not true what you said then. No, it is true. How is it not okay. true? Because you told me that everyone you brought to that meeting is someone that you trust with every ounce of information within your gang. Yeah, and, and listen, he knows I every ounce of information. I get it. Listen, I, my perspective on it is more so. From our perspective, it mm -hmm. felt like a threat. Hmm. And I get it. The reason you'd be doing it is to safeguard something that's important to you. Hmm. Now, every group in this city, including Rust, itches at other groups. Hmm. And when I say that, I mean, we try to all gain something from each other, be it money, power, hmm. position, control of territory, whatever it might be. Rust does the same. Yeah. As probably Mandem does with other groups. And... Whatever we do, 
be it go around and look for information whatever it might be it's mm. not a declaration of conflict we're not trying to sit here and declare war with you guys now mm. if we wanted war it would have been easy to be like hey they came down this deep why not pursue conflict with them mm. do you get what i mean yeah it's the same with you guys snooping around we could have easily been like you know it's been months or like over a month of snooping around and we caught them here and we did that but we didn't pursue conflict okay Obviously, my boys haven't said anything up to this point. It's not because they they don't have anything to say about the situation. A lot of them were there. I would say all three of you were there, right? Rez, for the power Benz, plant we... stuff, I was there. Benz, were you there doing the uh, scrapyard thing? Uh, not not directly, no. Okay, Kiwi. Yeah, I was there. Okay. Kiwi, can you give me your, uh, this is, Kiwi's my third in command, actually. He's my, uh, there's uh, three of us in command, and he's, uh, Kiwi, can you give me your perspective on what you thought was happening when, when the, the boys pulled up to the block, though? Because I, I, I wasn't there for it. Can I, before we go there, um, what was your guys' intention at the, at the power plant? Uh, but, uh, Perez, you can speak about it. You were there. Um, I don't know. We, I was chilling, got comms that someone shut down Mac. And then I just raced up to the power plant and then got you there. That's why it was when I was talking to you. I was like, so, hey, man, I don't know what's actually going on. I'm just here. So to add to that, how was Mac shot if he was at the power plant? Um, apparently he got shot earlier and then we were chasing the car to the power plant. And we just ended up being there and that's where we clashed. So, so can I ask why people were already set up at the power plant? Before we got there, because uh, we no people called out that people were coming down from the power plant, going into going into a local car, and that local car was um, I think I think it was um McGregor. He was set up at the top of the power plant, coming down to the black in, uh, intruder. Um, I guess we were chasing them before you guys arrived. I'm not really sure. You know, so you came late, Perez. Yeah, he came late. I came very late. But the thing is, no they were already... At the power station. Yeah, it was Cam, McGregor, Mac, and... Um, I can't remember the last one. But, like, the boys were already set up at the power plant, you know? It wasn't like I mean, they got, we got chased there or they chased someone there, you know? Are you saying, Perez, that they had gotten shot down earlier and they were set up there to look for him? Or what was going on? Oh, the boys were chasing someone up there before... Uh, Madam and BMC me, me arrived, so. Listen, I don't know the details of that, but are. all mm -hmm. I know most for the most part is the uh, the boys around the block, which, I mean, I'm that's pretty all, sure. That's all me. That, that's straight up me. Like, this entire week, I've been going there early in Storm to hang out with people and, like, see if people are awake. Like, we went there in a winky, we went in the Rebla. Yeah, that's that's me every day. So. Chat, make sure, especially during this meeting, it's pure RP. Don't 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 spread anyone any hate. Don't go be toxic in anyone's chat. No, listen, Just be nice really to everyone, matters, you know. Uh, Perez, your intention or not, I think the most important mm -hmm. thing is I I, I listen, but don't. Mm -hmm. No one in my gang has made an active move to take anything from you or the ballers. Mm -hmm. Can I ask a question? Yes, Mark. You, like, I'm going to just say that story, like, I respect you sticking to it. There's been hella inconsistencies with it, like, with no, it's bare different versions of this same story. Okay. You say the move wasn't made. I do agree, you know, because nothing ended up happening. But when they put up to the power plant, power plant, that was supposed to be a move, realistically. Supposed to be? Yeah, that was, that, that was an attempt. I don't understand what you mean by supposed to be. Like that that was plain Jane, an attempt that was covered up by a fake story to get a key. Sparky. You think uh, you you're in the green scent actions mean more than words, right? Yup. And you're in the greens that my boys pulled up there and they were there at the same location. Now, me and you can be in the greens that nothing happened. And you might say it might have been something that happened, but nothing happened. 
listen, I get it. You're on the edge. You might believe that people are going after you, and maybe it's true. But until something happens, Sparky, and I'm telling you, I personally, for me, I'm not actively pursuing anything. I'm doing my own thing. Until something happens, until I hear about it, until you guys hear about it, I mean, we're not actively chasing you guys around. Kill you to steal from you. That's all there is to it. I get a perspective. The perspective of, you know, it's not a move until the move is successful. I'm just letting you know we are aware that was an attempt. He's pretty much that's saying we're not dumb, you know? Yeah, that's, that's what funny. I'm saying. Because, like, realistically, like you said a minute ago as well, I don't really know the ins and outs of that situation. But I don't believe for a second if one of your own gang was shot, you wouldn't know the ins and outs of that situation. Surely your boys would relay Basic. that to you in I love Ray. detail because one of your boys has been shot. I suppose you'd be surprised. I might operate differently than them. Listen. You obviously don't know much about Conor McGregor if you think that. That man gets into too much trouble on his own. Listen, I, all I have to say is that uh, your assumption is fine. I'll leave you to it. And to the same thing to you ballers, right? You can assume whatever you want. But if you guys want to pursue any further action, it's your choice. Me personally, Rust, we're not going to chase you guys for conflict. I've got other things to take care of. That's all there is to it. Hmm. Perfect. Sounds good to me. Sounds good to us too. Yeah, we're not pursuing anything, but you know. Yeah, it's perfect. And uh, to be honest, Ballers, I think we've had to talk a little bit. I mean, I know you guys have been a little bit quiet this meeting, but uh, you guys yeah, split we leadership three ways, so right? What's up? You guys split leadership three ways, is that correct? Yeah, something like that. No, T, T has been so told not, about things. No reason. T has been told about things. All right, I get it. Uh, I think we had a talk the other day. I think it was about two weeks ago or something. Yeah, yeah. Right. Only thing T is um, missing is pretty much this meeting. If you guys want to speak about right now, please feel free to. The table is yours. Uh, beside that, I'm done. I just want to get your... I want to hear your perspective, to be honest, Sparky and Pitar and the ballers, why you guys came to the scrap here the way you did. Mm -hmm. That's all there was to it. You know, I was... I was extremely curious because the first thing I get the impression of when I come back and I hear, hey, these guys pulled up this deep. This is what they said. The first thing I get is that you guys are trying to intimidate us, to put us into a position of fear. And to be honest, Russ is not going to stand for that, right? Oh, look who it is. My God, this is supposed to be a high command meeting. Huh? huh. Oh, you want perspective for about the uh, power station, right? I mean, you can ask him if you want to, Pitar. It's your choice, or Sparky. Mm. But that's McGregor. I haven't heard the whole story myself, to be honest. I think we're probably good. Yeah, it doesn't matter. good? Yeah. Yeah, we heard it. We heard it now. I mean, yeah. We're not pursuing anything. You guys aren't pursuing anything. I don't think, you know. There needs to be more reason to dwell on shit, you know? Of course. And listen. You guys can have your assumptions, right? If you think someone's mm. going to try something, it's your right to do whatever you think is to stop it, right? Mm. And we're not going to stop you guys from doing that. Because to be honest, if you guys were getting your lab looked at, we're probably not the only person in the city looking for it. If we were, right? Mm. Anyway, gentlemen, you guys have a great day. I'll let you guys out, all right? Like vice boys?